how to you give visual aid links this video will cover links and all you need to know about them 1 link layout and icons 2 link rating 3 mutual link 4 co-link 5 link size 1 link layout 1 card name 2 link arrows 3 monster effect box 4 monster stats 5 link number icons link arrows non link arrows 2 link rating what is link rating link rating is what is known as the link number when effects are written on cards that involve link monsters effects. Let me give an example how to understand cards with this writing. Here's one. As you can see here, link rating is written here, there. What this card means is you will get to draw cards equal to the link monsters link number that you control or in your graveyard. So if it's a link one, you draw one card and return one card and so on. Always bear in mind what link rating means in the context of the links you play or your opponent plays and decide whether link related cards are worth adding in your deck. 3. Mutual Link So what is a mutual link? Mutual link is when a link monster's link arrows points to any monster on the field that is known as a mutual link. Let me showcase to you a mutual link looks like in Yu-Gi-Oh! For Colink, what is a Colink? Colink is when a link monster's link arrows points to another link monster's link arrows that you or your opponent controls. Let me showcase to you how a link Colink looks like in Yu Gi Oh! Five Link Summons. Let's start with just plain Link Summoning. Link Summoning just involves treating all monsters in the main monsters cards as having link arrows so a link one monster is summoned by sending one monster from the field to the graveyard since you only need one monster the same method is applied for link two onwards but let me showcase it to you for easier understanding here are link arrows so one link arrow equals one monster on the field also the summon condition for the link monster being summoned needs to be fulfilled before it can be summoned Let's now get to showing you a link sum. Link up summon. What is a link up summon? A link up summon is using two link monsters to perform a link summon. The reason why it's called a link up is because the link monster created is the total value added of the link monsters that made it. Example, there are two ways to make a link 3 monster. One, you could use the plain link summon method using three monsters to link summon it since each monster is classed as one link arrow. Two, you can use the link up method by having a link 1 and a link 2. Adding those values together gets you a link 3. Let's showcase to you a link up summon. Link Down Summon. What is a Link Down Summon? A Link Down Summon is using a Link Monster and a Non-Link Monster. For example, to make a Link 3 Monster using the Link Down method, use a Link 2 Monster and an Effect Monster. If you remember what I said earlier, that a monster is treated as having one Link Arrow. So a Link 1 plus a Link 2 equals a Link 3. Let's showcase to you a Link Down Summon. Hand Link Summon What is a Hand Link Summon? A Hand Link Summon can only be conducted at the moment with a series of main deck monsters called Coda, each with effects that allow you to link summon to Code Talker Link Monsters only, with varying level of effects when used for Link Summon. 
that showcase to you a hand link sum. Reincarnation Link Summon, exclusive to Salomon Grid. What is Reincarnation Link Summon? Reincarnation Link Summon is a summon mechanic exclusive to Salomon Grid only. This involves relinking the same Link Monster to get extra effects and abilities. Let me showcase to you a Reincarnation Link Summon. You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe. Hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.